In this follow-up video, we'll install the wiring harness for a trailer installation on a 2014 uh, Volkswagen Jetta Sport Wagon. You can start by disassembling your interior. Uh, you can flip up the rear cargo panel. And then from here, you can use a simple Torx bit to remove the screws uh, under to remove that access panel. Now you can remove the secondary access panel by flipping the seats back underneath the uh, retaining area for the child uh, safety seats. You can flip those up. There'll be three more Torx bits under there to remove that cargo access panel. Finally, don't forget to remove the strap located on the left side using a Torx bit as well. You can remove the rear access panel using a flathead screwdriver. There will be two bolts that are very large located under there. From here, you can simply start prying around on each end and slowly keep pulling harder and harder until the clips pop out and you can pull remove the um, rear panel from the vehicle. Two small hex bolts uh, and two Torx located at the back of the uh, towards the front of the vehicle. Uh, you can remove the rest of the cargo liner. Here you'll need to use the same Torx bit to remove the uh, cargo tie-down holds on the driver and passenger side of the panel. And now we're in for the hardest part. You'll need to uh, pull the panel out from its clips, uh, which is easier said than done. Um, just take precaution not to bend any of the panels too hard and just slowly pry around. Uh, each corner of it until you can start to feel the metal clips give. Um, don't force it too hard or else you could break the clips or cause other uh, indentations and scratches on your interior pieces. Now's a good time you can uh, pull out your trusty multimeter or they you can use the supplied um, probe in the electrical trailer wiring kit to see which signals are the tail light, um, flat turn signal and the running lights. Um, alternatively I've supplied the wiring for my particular 2014 sport wagon. Uh, I recommend checking it, but it seems to be pretty standard across all sport wagons. Once you find the correct wires, you'll need to cut and splice in a, uh, the wiring for the trailer harness module. Um, in this particular instance, we're going to solder it in. They've supplied some crimp connectors that you can use. I highly recommend not using those as they're not very reliable. Um, if you have uh, some skills in soldering, I recommend taking the extra effort to splice in the 
wiring harness into the Volkswagen wiring harness. Um, it'll be more robust and you're less likely to have any failures in the future. Um, so you can just go ahead and solder that in and use some heat shrink to cover those connections. Next you'll need to take the supplied white ground lead with the uh, wiring terminal and use either some kind of sheet metal or self-tapping screw to screw it into the interior metal panel of the sport wagon so the trailer module can have the appropriate grounds. You'll also need to go to the passenger side of the vehicle and find the right passenger side turn signal wire as well to incorporate this into the wiring harness. Now you can secure the actual module body to the interior of the sport wagon using a sheet metal screw or a self-tapping screw once again. Next um, you'll need to install the power lead to the module. Um, the power lead is a red wire coming from the module and they use supply a large black wire and recommend running it to the battery terminal. Um, I would recommend that in most applications but in this particular scenario we've actually just wired it to the rear cigarette lighter plug. Uh, it's a much shorter run. Um, they're both fused the cigarette plug and the receiver plug in the sport wagon 
and should be supply an ample amount of energy to supply the lights to the trailer so we've opted to use that instead since we'll never use that cigarette plug anyways. Rather than dangling the wiring for the trailer outside of the trunk and scratching up the rear bumper, uh, I've opted to splice it and cut it open um, so that way I can drill a hole in the rear trunk well near the spare tire and run the wires directly up from the well. Um, make sure you either use some kind of silicone or r ideally a rubber grommet to keep the wires from chafing against the metal you've drilled. We've also opted to drill holes in the rear bumper to hold the uh, the trailer plug onto the rear bumper as to not drag it on the ground since it will be permanently located outside of the vehicle. Now it's as simple as uh, reconnecting the uh, spliced and cut wires that you use to run the wiring from the outside of the sport wagon to the inside. <laughs> 